Not too long ago, I speculated if Gore Magala is returning on Sunbreak. But guys, it's finally here. Gore Magala returns on Sunbreak. If you're new to the series, don't worry, I'll share you more about Gore Magala. A bit of a background, Gore Magala is one of the beloved flagship monsters of the 4th gen series. And in this video, I'll be sharing you some awesome things that you could expect from this returning monster. Everything will be based on the old generation. I'll be covering, is Gore Magala armor good or bad? What about the weapons? What's the hunting experience going to be like? What master rank difficulty is Gore Magala going to be? And there are two more Magalas? Let's begin. So for the armor set, here's what Gore Magala's G rank or should I say master rank armor set looks like. What do you think? Personally, I love the look of this armor set. In terms of armor set skills, here's what it has on the older generation. In Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, here are the armor skills. We have Agitator, Biomaster or Biology, Antivirus, and Element Attack Up. If you're wondering about Biomaster or Biology skill, I'll explain it in a bit. As for Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, we have Agitator, Biomaster or Biology, and Endurance. Biomaster or Biology is an armor skill that increases Dung Bomb efficacy, prevents stench, and Blast Blight, and it also delays Gormagala's unique mechanic, which is the Frenzy Virus. I'll explain Gormagala's Frenzy Virus in a bit. Endurance is essentially a skill tied down to Monster Hunter Generation's ultimate Hunter Arts and Hunter Styles fill-up gauge. However, this might just turn out to be a Wirebug Whisper skill for us. So that's all of the skills Gormagala has, but don't worry about the lack of skills in here because this is the old generation, and there's a lot more that we can expect on Sunbreak. Okay, now let's talk about Gormagala's weapons. Here's what Gormagala's weapons look like. They all look really good, especially that greatsword. I really want to get that already. Anyhow, Gormagala has every weapon for every weapon type. Now, in terms of the weapon stats, these weapon stats, by the way, are based on Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Gormagala weapons are averaging on 260 raw to 320 raw. It has blue sharpness only, but you can get it up to purple with handicraft. It has an average of 15 to 25 dragon element and also it has 20% to 25% positive affinity. Kormagala weapons look good, however in terms of the stats, it's quite underwhelming especially with the sharpness levels. You only have blue sharpness. You'll definitely need some levels of handicraft so your weapon doesn't bounce. When it comes to the hunting experience of Kormagala, Gormagala is a challenging monster to hunt back then, especially in its first introduction in Monster Hunter 4. When hunting Gormagala, as you've seen from the trailer, it constantly tries to shoot you with its unique frenzy virus attack. Besides that, it leaves a trail of smoke of those frenzy virus so you still end up getting inflicted by it. It also has quote unquote two phases where it darkens the skies and it becomes even more aggressive. If you're wondering, what's Gormagala's Frenzy Virus all about? The Frenzy Virus mechanic works similar to Malzeno's Blood Blight mechanic. Back in the old world, if you're inflicted with Gormagala's Frenzy Virus, you'd have to overcome it. To overcome the Frenzy Virus, you'd have to inflict a certain amount of damage and once you do, get a huge bonus affinity and frenzy virus immunity for a short amount of time. However, if you fail to overcome the effect, your natural recovery gets cancelled, it severely lowers your defense, and lastly, if you're standing on Gormagala's frenzy smoke, you'd start to rapidly lose your health. But don't worry, a nice item that you can prep up before sunbreak is null berries. You can use it to slow down the frenzy virus effect, giving you enough time to overcome and gain your bonus affinity and immunity. Now, since Gormagala is announced I wonder if they're going to add the two more Magalas, Shagaru Magala and Chaote Kor Magala. It's going to be crazy if they decided to add these two. Now, in terms of Master Rank difficulty, in the older generation, Kor Magala is on the same level of difficulty with monsters such as Tigrex and Zinogre, which is on G3 or Master Rank 3. You know, after this announcement, I don't know about you, but I'm really excited for Sunbreak. This definitely piqued my interest, especially they added a monster monster from Frontier, which is Espinas, and other amazing monsters from the older generation. By the way, if you want to learn more about Seregios, check out this next video as I share more about what you can expect from that monster.